Hello everyone. We are a team of students from RV College of Engineering, Bangalore, and this is our entry into Texas Instruments Analog Design Contest 2014. Our project is titled Putavi, that is Public Transport Assistant for Visually Impaired. It is aimed at making visually challenged people self-sufficient in their routine navigation. We have made use of the following Texas Instruments ICs in our design: OPA 4277 PA, MSP 430 G2553. UA7805 LM3940 This is our final product which has been made compact wearable and durable This is how the whole system is integrated and appears in this way when worn by the user in person Now let's look into wearable obstacle detection system Ultrasonic sensor consists of a transmitter and receiver pair. To begin system operation, an active high pulse of 10 microsecond is sent to the trigger of the sensor. This will initiate burst of 8 cycles of ultrasonic waves of 40 kHz. When there is a reception, echo pin will be raised high. Width of the pulse on the echo pin is proportional to the distance to the object. By dividing the pulse width got in microseconds by 50h, distance in centimeters is calculated. To calculate the distance repeatedly, trigger is being sent to the sensor at regular intervals and echo pin is monitored. Now let me throw some light on the power supply system and the analog signal conditioning part of the circuit. The power supply unit consists of TIS UA7805 and TIS LM3940. 7805 is a three terminal 5 volt LDO regulator used to power the various circuit elements. LM3940 is a three terminal 3.3 volt regulator used to power the MSP430. The signal conditioning unit in the circuit is used to level shift the output of an ultrasonic sensor from 5 volts to 3.3 volts as 3.3 volts is the logic high level for MSP430 processing. TIS OPA 4277PA, a 14 pin DIP package of 4 op amps is used for this purpose. These class of op amps have a very good noise immunity and a good slew rate which are important to maintain signal integrity. A single supply op amp level shifter is designed by providing a resistor divider network. Two of the four op amps and chips have been utilized. This single supply technique is efficient as it optimizes space and power requirements. Let me substantiate the bus identification system. Now let's look into RF transmitter and receiver part. This subsystem uses HT12 and HT12D for encoding and decoding respectively. The usage of HT12 eliminates the usage of microcontroller for encoding. HT12 is a 12 bit address and data encoder. The 12 bit information is transmitted serially along the 433 MHz radio frequency using transmitter. The encoders with transmitters are placed on each of the buses. This data is received by RF receiver present with the visually challenged person which is decoded by the HT12 decoder. Based on this value the bus number is detected and the same is conveyed to the visually challenged through audio feedback system. Now let us see how the audio logging and playback system works. The main objective of audio playback system is to give user appropriate voice commands by driving the speaker connected externally. We have used APR 33A3 audio processor to record, store and play back the audio messages. APR 33A3 is a 16 bit audio processor which has a built in high resolution analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter. This IC provides built in audio recording microphone amplifier through which the user can record the voice. In our project we used four commands two for left and right and another two for bus number 1 and bus number 2 which are recorded in four different channels the appropriate voice commands are played by selecting respective channel through msv430 microcontroller the overall system is fast and power efficient since we are using ti's ultra low power 16 bit msp430 g2553 microcontroller let us walk through the working of the entire system This is a practical demonstration of our project. It has two modes of operation: bus identification and obstacle detection. When it is in obstacle detection mode, left and right obstructions are appropriately detected and a message is given to the user as left or right. When I give a right obstacle, a right message is conveyed. When I give a left obstacle, left message is conveyed. The bus identification can be better uh, observed and appreciated when we are in an outdoor environment. This is currently in obstacle detection mode. I want to get into car number one, so let me switch it to the bus identification mode. 
This is how I can do it. This is car one, and it is transmitting data one. This is car two, and it's transmitting data two. For demonstration purpose, we are using cars numbered as one and two instead of buses, and the earphones are temporarily replaced by a loudspeaker to present the functioning of the system to the viewers in a better way. Now he has heard that the car has arrived, so he will switch to the bus detection mode to check which car it is. Based on the car number, he will decide whether to board or not. Since the user wants to board car number one, he decides not to board the car. Now the car number one has arrived, and the user will again check for which car it is. Since he will know that it is car number one, he decides to board the car. Well, that's not the end. Our system can be powered using a 12 volt solar panel and hence can be made sustainable and power efficient.